This video has been done using a PW127H engine and will complement the process for torquing and sealing connectors with either heat shrinkable sleeve or insulation tape. For complete installation and removal procedure, please refer to the following engine maintenance manual chapters. The tools and consumables required are soft jaw pliers or strap wrench. Reference PWC tool in engine maintenance manual in this video is PWC 89812. Stabilant 22. Contact enhancer. Contact cleaner. Shrink sleeve or insulation tape. And a heat gun if shrink sleeve is used. If a heat gun is used, use the appropriate reflectors to protect the adjacent surface from heat damage. The use of electrical contact enhancer remains optional. However, field experience has demonstrated that the use of contact enhancer improves the electrical characteristics and helps reducing spurious signal interruptions. The use of adequate tooling is important when torquing electrical connectors. Toolkit PWC 89812 has been designed and is available to the field to ensure proper connector torquing. Field experience has shown that for straight type connectors it is less time consuming and easier to seal with shrinkable sleeve. On the other hand, for sealing angled connectors where the angle is steep, such as 90 degrees, it may be more convenient to use insulation tape. This video will demonstrate the installation of heat shrinkable tube and insulation tape on an angled connector. The heat gun temperature range must be between a minimum of 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 degrees Celsius. Connector care using heat shrinkable sleeve. Disconnect the harness connector from its mating component. Install the shrink sleeve of appropriate size on the harness. For a straight connector, the shrinkable sleeve should overlap 0.500 inches minimum from the edge of the braid. And for a 90 degree connector, the shrinkable sleeve should overlap 0.250 inches minimum from the edge of the braid. After the connector is cleaned with contact cleaner, apply contact enhancer stabilant 22 in a quantity of one drop per socket. Make sure excess enhancer is wiped out. Tighten the connector finger tight until the witness band, normally shown as a red or blue stripe line on the mating receptacle, is covered. Complete the torquing with soft jaw pliers or a strap wrench. Use a heat gun to heat shrink the sleeve over the connector. Connector care using insulation tape. Disconnect the harness connector from its mating component. After the connector is cleaned with contact cleaner, apply contact enhancer. Stabilant 22 in a quantity of one drop per socket on both components, the harness and the mating component. Make sure excess enhancer is wiped out. Tighten the connector finger tight until the witness band, normally shown as a red or blue stripe line on the mating receptacle, is covered. Complete the torquing with soft jaw pliers or a strap wrench. For a straight connector, the insulation tape should overlap 0.500 inches minimum from the edge of the braid. And for a 90 degree connector, the insulation tape should overlap 0.250 inches minimum from the edge of the braid. The insulation tape has a white line to facilitate the overlap distance. Therefore, a correct installation will show a single white line at the end of the process. An incorrect installation of the insulation tape will show multiple white lines over the length to be protected. 
Thank you for viewing this video, and we hope that these best practices will be beneficial in your day-to-day -day operations.